Hey, this is the Miz again, and today's tutorial will be on reflections. <clears throat> now, I have a book here <clears throat> with a simple gradient uh, for the background, which is a light gray fading into uh, transparent. And uh, because of the quality of the video, there may uh, be the gradient may show some banding, but in actuality, it's the video uh, that's creating the banding, and it's not in the image itself. So, with that in mind, <clears throat> we're going to create uh, a reflection for the book in uh, probably about two, well, about three or four easy uh, to do steps. So, the first thing I need to do is make a duplicate copy of my book. So, I'll hold down the control key and hit the letter J, and that will make a uh, duplicate copy of the book above uh, the first layer. Now, we use the first layer as our reflection. Now, what do we do? We hit the control T, control and T, and that brings up the free transform bounding box. Now, <clears throat> all we need to do is click inside that bounding box and drag it, drag it, uh, oh, we got to flip that vertically first. <laughs> there we go. Now, now we just click inside and drag it right down below, beneath the, uh, the book. <clears throat> and, and, Enter. Now, notice the uh, the the book itself. Uh, the edges uh, slope away from the book, and that's not desirable because in order to make it more realistic, the uh, reflection would be directly underneath the book. So, how do we fix that? Well, the first thing we want to do is bring in a guide. So, let's drag a guide from the left side of the uh, screen here, and we're going to go right to the edge of the book. Right to the edge of the book, uh, where. Uh, this is the area you want to uh, be uh, 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 mindful of. Don't worry about that it, that the book slopes away up here or the book slopes away uh, a, a, away from the guide. It's right at the apex of the slope, right at the very tip that we're concerned about. We want to be dead center right in the middle. Next thing we need to do is we'll click uh, the, uh, the rectangular uh, marquee tool and we we'll use the guide for the edge, and we'll drag a selection right down the left side of that uh, uh, guide that we created. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to transform this selection. So we'll hit Control and the letter T again to bring up the free transform tool. And once we've done that, we can go inside the bounding box and right-click. And this time, we're going to choose Skew. And we'll come over to the left side and just flip that bounding box right up there to the best way we can right there. Now we'll hit enter. Okay. Now you don't need to deselect, but we need to uh, go back in and do the right side. So what I'll do is I'll do a, uh, a duplicate of what we just did to the left side onto the right side. Uh, we've got our selection around the right side of the guide. We hit control T. That brings up our free transform bounding boxes. We click inside, right click, right click, inside, choose skew again. And then what we do is just bring that right up until it touches the edge of the book right there. And hit enter. Now we need to deselect. <clears throat> now the next thing you need to do, well, I'm not going to show you how to do this, but I usually put right where the book meets the uh, uh, reflection, I usually put a, 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 a drop shadow there. But uh, for the yes, for the purpose of time and uh, simplicity, I'll, I'll skip that method. Next thing we need to do is, while we're still on the reflection uh, side of the book, we need to reduce the opacity. And let's go down to around 43, 45, somewhere, anywhere, just 43% for this particular image looks good. And I'll, I'll, uh, I like that. That looks really good. <clears throat> now... To make this look really uh, realistic, uh, in real life, the reflection is the strongest right where the book meets the uh, table. That's the strongest. But as it as it uh, fades into the depth of the table, the reflection should be able to fade. So we need to create that effect. So we go back down to our uh, reflection layer, which is layer one, and I'm going to create a mask for that layer. And I'm going to uh, just click, come down here and click on the Add Layer Mask. And that puts the layer mask right here. Now, with black as my 
foreground color. I'll go uh, up into the gradient, and I'm going to make sure that I select black to transparent and click OK. Now what I'll do, do is come down to the bottom of the of the reflection, and I'm going to create a, a a gradient right up to the very top of the reflection, and there's our gradient. And let's move the guide out of the way. And now we we can uh, <coughs> just move the book anywhere. Looks good right about there. That's without the reflection, and that's with the reflection. Now, um, I strongly advise you to put a drop shadow underneath the uh, the book to make it look uh, real realistic. The drop shadow would just be a very thin line with a little blur and about the same opacity, about 43%. Okay, so thank you. That's how I do my reflections, and. Uh, Go out and try it yourself now. Thank you.